Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be going through the formal proof of Theorem 11. Theorem 11, 12 and 13 are the new higher level proofs that you are required to know off by heart. So Theorem 11 states that if three parallel lines cut off equal segments on some transversal line, then they will cut off equal segments on any other transversal. So I'm going to talk you through the proof for this in our next slide. So we're going to start off this question by drawing three parallel lines and you're going to draw um, a transversal and you're going to label each of the points of intersection with your three parallel lines as A, B and C. On our diagram we're then going to mark in that the distance between A and B is equal to the distance between B and C. We're then going to mark in another transversal and we're going to label that D, E and F. Okay, so we've got everything set up. So now we're going to jump into writing down what we're given and what we're trying to prove and talk through our constructions. So we're given that the line AD is parallel to the line BE which is parallel to the line CF. Okay, so they were just my three parallel lines that I drew earlier. And we're also saying that the distance between A and B is equals to the distance between B and C. Okay, so that's what we're given in our beginning of this proof. And remember, what we're trying to prove here is that the distance between another transversal will be the same. So as in, if the line ABC, if that's split up into equal sections, well then our other line DF should be as well. So we're basically trying to prove that the distance between DE would be equals to the distance between E and F, um, given the fact that the distance between A and B is equals to the distance between B and C. So the first thing we're going to do in our construction is we're going to draw a e dash which is going to be parallel to d e okay and we're saying that we're going to cut e b at e dash and c f at f dash okay so basically what that means is we want to draw a parallel line to the line d e and we want to run it from point a okay so we're going to come down here oops and imagine this is our parallel line so that's going to come down like so, okay, so that's parallel. And we're going to go and label that then with, we're, we're saying that we're gonna label EB, sorry, at the where we cut EB, we're gonna label that E dash. So it's gonna be E dash. And CF, we're gonna label that F dash. Next, we're gonna draw F dash, B dash, which is gonna be uh, parallel to the line AB. And we want to cut EB, which is this line here, our middle line, at B dash. So basically, if I'm going to draw that um, parallel, it's going to come up from F dash, like so. Okay, and again, I'm going to label um, EB where it cuts the line, and I'm going to label that B dash. So basically, what you're going to notice here is you'll see the green line is the line parallel to D, E, F, and the red line is the line parallel to A, B, C, okay? And we're going to come back to that now in a second for the next part of our actual proof. So the first thing that we're going to write down then is that we notice that our line here, B dash, F dash, is going to be the same as B, C, Okay, now look, I know from my drawing it might not look, look exactly the same, but uh, hopefully you can see when you do it out quite accurately on your page that these will be um, the same. So we're going to say that B dash F dash is equals to the distance between B, C. And we have to give a reason for that. And the reason for it is because they're opposite sides of a parallelogram. Okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing that we notice then, that therefore, is that that is actually therefore equals to the distance between A, B. Because remember earlier, we would have written down when we were given that the distance between B, C is the same as the distance between A, B. So that means that B dash, F dash is not only equals to B, C, it's also given, uh, or sorry, it's also equals to A, B. And that's by the assumption at the start of the question. Okay, the next thing then is we're going to look at our angles. So we can write down that the angle BAE dash 
is equals to the angle E dash, F dash, B dash. And the reason why we can say they're the same is because they're alternate angles, okay? So again, if you want to mark it in on our drawing, we have B, A, E dash, which is here, is equals to E dash, B dash, sorry, E dash, F dash, B dash, which is just here. And that's your alternate or your Z angles, okay? The next one we're gonna write down then is that the angle A, E dash B is equals to the angle F dash E dash B dash and that's because they are vertically opposite angles and again if we want to mark that in so we've got A E dash B which is just here and then that should be equals to F dash E dash B dash which is just here and again they are alternate angles or sorry, they're virtually opposite angles, I should say. So then, therefore, we can say that the triangle A, B, E dash is congruent to the triangle F dash, B dash, E dash, and the reason for that is because we have shown using our angle, side angle, that they are congruent triangles. So therefore, we can say that our side A E dash is equals to F dash E dash. So the distance between those are equals to each other. But we know that A E dash is equals to D E and the distance between F dash E dash is equals to the distance between F E because again they're opposite sides of a parallelogram. So therefore the distance DE is equals to the distance FE and that's exactly what we were trying to prove at the start of our question. So we can write QED at the end and we are finished theorem number 11. Thanks for watching today's video. In our video we went through the formal proof of theorem 11 on the Leaving Cert higher level curriculum.